Hey guys, so as you know, my Instagram account was recently disabled due to impersonation of another user. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing exactly what I did to get my account back up and running in just five days. So I managed to get my Instagram account reactivated in just five days by doing this exact thing I'm going to talk you through. Now, just before I get into exactly what I did, of course, you can do what Instagram advises you to do, which is to appeal. When you try and log into your account and realize it's been disabled, there'll then be an option which says learn more. So you have to select that option and then it gives you the appeal process which usually is you will put in your passport number put in a few details about yourself and then they'll send you an automated email for you to basically send a picture of you holding up a code so that is the appeal process number one appeal press process number two is by finding a kind of secret link within Instagram I will leave it in my description box for you but this process is basically the exact same thing other than this is a desktop version version and the other version was the app version and um, I believe it just all goes to the same place it's all an automated system they'll get your hopes up by telling you to send in the code and then you'll hear nothing back now of course I would still advise you to do this process because you may be one of the lucky ones who actually get through to a person who's willing to help and who gets your account reactivated there has been stories like that but in most cases it's just not going to work you're not going to get a response you just going to be left frustrated trying and trying and trying again to fill out this form being sent another automated code and just hearing nothing back so I'm not being funny but I don't have time to be waiting two weeks one month three months for my Instagram account to be reactivated I needed it done as soon as possible so this is exactly what I did to get my account back so to get my account back what I did was log into Facebook on Facebook I typed in Facebook for business page and then select their page on their page it'll give you an option to request support now the reason I was able to do this is because I do have a business account my Instagram was a business account my Facebook is a business account and I also have previously run ads so it was easy for me to get through to chat because they assumed I was needing help with an ad and of course ads are the priority because it's money so they'd be willing to help me a lot quicker now if you do not have a business account and if you've never run an ad before for, I believe that you do need to do that first so you'll need to spend a bit of money on getting your account back you need to run an ad I believe the lowest amount you can run an ad for would be two pounds or two dollars whatever your currency is but you'll need to run an ad for at least a day or so just so it pops up on their system that you're not that you are an actual ads customer and that way you can get through to the chat so once you then get access to the support via chat, it normally takes around two minutes to get through to somebody. As soon as you get through, they'll just be like, hey, how can I help? And you just want to tell them as brief and as clear as possible that you cannot access your Instagram account, you're not sure what's happened, and you just need some assistance. Now, of course, I know a lot of you guys are not stupid. You've probably already been researching and you've probably already tried this method. If you've tried the method and got the answer, I'm sorry, we cannot help you. Keep on trying. It took me five to seven attempts until I finally got through to somebody who was willing to help and who gave me a case number. I'd type up this message, I'd get through to an advisor, an advisor would be like, all right, give me a second, let me see how we can help. They'd wait like two minutes and they'd get back to me saying, I'm sorry, we cannot help. But I was just not gonna take no for an answer. It did get to a point where I was thinking, this method clearly does not work anymore. But I just thought, let me keep on trying. It got to a point where I literally got Got through to the same advisor like three times and she must have just eventually felt sorry for me or just thought you know what fuck it let me just help so she actually agreed to help me she got through to the Instagram team and she came back to me with a case number when I got that case number I was like yes I am in there is no way I'm not getting my account back because I've got this case number now there's no way they can close this case without me being satisfied with the result from that point what I did was made sure she emailed me exactly what we discussed today just so this does not get lost in the system 
and they can't turn around and like, oh no, sorry, we can't help you now. I wanted proof that she said she was gonna look into this for me. So yeah, she said she's gonna pass it on to the relevant team and get back to me. She said it'll take between 24 and 48 hours for this. So bear in mind, we're already on day two now. Day one, I spent doing all the bullshit, taking the pictures, filling out the forms, which clearly didn't work. Day two, I moved on to trying the Facebook chat, literally all day, just opening a new chat, opening a new chat, wait until I finally got through to someone who was gonna help. So now this is moving on to day three. I thought, let me just be patient. Let me give them a bit of time to look into it. Day three, heard nothing back. So even though they said you need to wait between 28 and 48 hours, I just wanted to show that I was being persistent and this is an issue I really want resolving. So that next day I went back on to the chat and surprisingly I got through to the exact same person again. She was like, oh hey Montel, sorry we didn't get back to you yesterday. Basically the Instagram team have asked for proof of identity so they wanted a passport again. So I was like, yep, fine. I sent that off as soon as possible. She was like, okay, you need to wait another 24 to 48 hours. So I thought, okay, I'm just gonna do the same thing again. So I waited 24 hours, heard nothing. On that next day, I then got back in touch, got through to the same agent again, and she was just like, I'm sorry it's taking so long. We'll do everything we can to speed this up for you. And cases like this can take a bit longer. And to be honest, throughout this whole thing, I was a lot calmer than I thought I'd be because I still had hopes that I was gonna get this account back. But when she was saying it's taken a bit longer to investigate, I was starting to get a bit worried at that point, thinking, why is my account taking longer? What's, what's to investigate here? Like, just give me my account back. So I was just being as nice as possible to her. I was like, okay, I am really concerned about this though. I've worked really hard on this account. I'm building a brand on here. I'm just really concerned about all my pictures and all my memories. I can give you any proof or any identity that you need from me just so I can get this account back. And she was then like, don't worry, you will have your account back very soon. So I was thinking, okay, you're telling me I will have my account back very soon. That, that sounds quite promising. So what do you know that you're not telling me right now? So I just kind of left it again. 24 hours went by, heard nothing. It was coming up to 48 hours. I still heard nothing. And I was just thinking, are these just messing me around here? Like, am I actually going to get this account back or not? And then just out of nowhere that day I got a message from one of my followers basically saying that my account has been reactivated and I was just like what? I tried logging straight away and I seen that yeah indeed my account was back. Finally they reactivated my account. Now I didn't receive any sort of email confirmation not until like the day later but a lot later on I didn't receive anything from them they just miraculously reactivated my account which of course I am so happy about I made sure to thank the Facebook advisor that actually helped me get the account back just saying I really appreciate it but yeah my account was reactivated so that is exactly how I managed to get my disabled account reactivated by going through the Facebook chat service. Another point I just want to know is I received an email from Facebook literally yesterday which basically said in order to re-enable your account you just need to try and log in and change your password so that to me shows that the automated system actually does work or it may work but it just takes a lot longer to work because I've had my account back for almost two weeks now so who really had two weeks to wait for them to get back in touch but I guess that just gives you a bit of hope if the Facebook chat's not working for you there is a possibility that they will get back in touch with you it just takes a bit longer than I believe it should do because Instagram is a big platform so the fact that their customer service isn't up to scratch it's just like, it's just so jarring. Like everyone's on Instagram, everyone's building businesses on there. Like we do not have time for this to be happening. And um, But yeah, I'm just so glad that I finally got it resolved and I got my account back. So I hope this video helps you guys if you are experiencing the same issue. If you've got any other questions, then leave me a comment and I'll be sure to answer that for you. And yeah, that's all for this video. So I'll see you in my next one. Bye.